Welcome to another Rail Fan Dan production. Enjoy this short intro. Join me as we watch some big EMD power cruise along the historic Siskiyou line. This is the Central Oregon and Pacific Siskiyou line, which holds a lot of history, starting out south of Cottage Grove, Oregon. The Corp is a G&W company and this morning we are following the big train that runs on the line heading south. This is Corp Job 501 which runs from Eugene to Roseburg, Oregon or technically Winchester Yard just north of Roseburg. Subscribe and hit the bell to stay up to date with new videos. The usual power on this train is this quad pairing of big EMD units as this is the lengthiest and heaviest train on the line. It has to overcome several decent grades along the way. Interstate 5 parallels the line here. They are now descending down Divide Hill, which is about a 1.5% grade here. The return northbound train brings mostly loads up this hill, so it's one of the main reasons the big power is needed. Next we see them making their way through Curtin, Oregon, which is the bottom point of Divide Hill. All four of these big EMDs were brought to the railroad in 2020 to be used for this train. The two Providence and Worcester units are SD70 M-2s, number 4301 and 4302. The other two corp units in the middle are SD70 M units, number 4675 and 4677. The two corp SD70 M units are special because they were two of the very first SD70s to be produced in 1992. They were EMD demonstrator units EMDX number 7000 and EMDX number 7002. Pretty amazing they're still earning their keep 31 years later. Immediately behind the power is a water car for spraying down the right of way. Right now is the height of fire season in the northwest and they use this for fire prevention. Many of the corp trains use water cars this time of year. They will open valves to start it spraying in a bit. Thank you. 
now a trestle over Pass Creek at Safely, Oregon, which doesn't appear on all maps. It is just south of Curtin. Also, Safely Sighting is here. Some history of the Siskiyou Line. This line was completed in 1887 and was the first connection between the Northwest and Oregon and Washington to California. It was built by the Oregon and California Railroad and the Central Pacific Railroad. It is now one of three through routes between the Northwest and California, but it isn't used as a through route. Almost all of the rail traffic is brought in and out of Springfield Junction, just south of Eugene. This is the train that brings basically all of the traffic on and off of the line. Closer look at Pass Creek through here. Here they are at Drain, Oregon, which I think is the lowest elevation point on the line. Another trestle over Pass Creek. Now at a spot in the trees, just south of Drain, they parallel Elk Creek here.
This is another spot just south of Drain and coming up on Yonkala, Oregon, passing by an Oregon Department of Transportation facility. They had stopped just before this location and got the water car turned on to spray. Now passing through Yonkala, Oregon with Yonkala siding and finally getting a little speed for a moment. There are only a few sections of this run they get going up towards 25 mph. Next up is just north of Rice Hill, Oregon, where they are getting a bit of speed again and just beginning the ascent of Rice Hill itself, which is another major grade on this portion of the Siskiyou line.
Note the visible exhaust out the stacks of the engines as they throttle up to begin their assault on the hill. This side of Rice Hill gets up to about a 1.6% grade. It's no struggle at all though for them heading southbound here since most of the train is empty cars. Now on the other side, or south of Rice Hill, and descending the grade at about a 1.4% decline at the steepest.
now approaching Oakland, Oregon and passing over Kalapuya Creek. In turn, these have been the Kalapuya Mountains that the line has been traversing through this entire video. They run for about 60 miles on the west side of the Cascade Mountains between Eugene and Roseburg. A major bridge construction project is taking place here above Oakland siding to replace the older, smaller bridge closer to us in the shot. The new bridge will be a two-lane bridge, which is an upgrade for traffic, which has long made use of the older one-lane bridge. I don't usually get up close to anyone working a job site like this, but I thought this was a pretty neat opportunity to get them in action here and no one can be facially recognized. Now just about to enter Sutherland, Oregon through what is called Union Gap, we also see the north end of Sutherland Siding.
Passing through the middle of Sutherland and a customer of the Corp, Murphy Plywood and their engineered wood division plant. Sutherland Creek here as well. This is where I would end my chase for the day. They have about another 6 miles until they reach Winchester Yard, which is where they stop to swap trains and begin back northbound with the mostly loaded train back towards Eugene using the same power set. I hope you enjoyed and see you next time!